Hey guys, welcome back to Man Meets Magic and this morning I received something very very mysterious looking from the back cave itself and as you know, even though I know it says fragile on it but we're gonna unbox it using my trusty old knife just gonna rip that open nice and easy see what's inside it ooh yes I think I know what that is that is but yeah, that's pretty cool. Batman playing cards. These cards were printed in 1994 by USPCC for the Batman Forever movie that came out in 1995. The tuck box features Batman and Robin and it says playing cards underneath. It's also got the Batman logo with the Riddler question mark at the top. The bottom says USPCC, the address and all rights reserved 1994. The sides say Batman Forever and playing cards. The top also says Batman Forever hidden underneath the legendary blue USPCC seal. The back features Riddler, Batman and Two-Face with some information about the cards and a barcode at the bottom. There's nothing on the flap, nothing on the sides and that's pretty much it for the tuck box. Let's get into the cards. As soon as you open the box you're greeted with two game cards. These are two games that you can play uh, with this deck of cards and these are based on the two villains Batman faced in the 1995 film. One's called Two-Face Cheat and the other one's called Find the Riddler. You also get two identical Riddler Jokers and the rest of the cards are all non-standard but we'll talk more about those in a minute. The stock that they used to print these was the Ohio Bicycle Stock and it actually reminds me of the Crush Stock that they use today. It's very very nice and thin and flexible. However, the finish on these is actually pretty terrible. This is a brand new deck of cards and you can tell that the cards can't even fan evenly. And the same cannot be said about the ferrule. Surprisingly, they ferrule very, very nicely. Straight out the box, you don't need to break these in. But because this deck doesn't have a white border, there is a downside to that. The cards start to look quite worn out and ashy, even though it's a brand new deck of cards. In terms of aesthetics, the back design features a Batman logo inside the Riddler question mark, and at the bottom it says trademark and DC Comics. All that on a matte black background and a one-way back design, which I'm not really a huge fan of but the faces have been very well thought out. All the cards from three all the way to eight on every single suit, they're actually all the same. So here's the three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And they're actually all the same with the other suits. But the twos, nines, tens, jacks, queens, kings, and the aces are all very, very different. So the twos have the sterling silver that Harvey Dent has, and the black twos have the scarred side and the red twos have the clean side. The nines have Harvey Dent. The tens have the Riddler. The jacks have the Robin. The queens have uh, Dr. Chase Meriden. And the kings feature Batman himself. The aces have all four of the main characters. So Ace of Hearts is Robin, Ace of Clubs is Two-Face, Ace of Diamonds is Batman, and Ace of Spades is the Riddler. In summary, I think this is a really, really nice deck of cards and an amazing addition to your collection if you're a Batman fan. However, if you want to use these for cardistry or magic, simply put, they're not the right choice to make. For cardistry, they're not the best at handling, and for magic, they're a bit too custom to use. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If there's any other deck of cards that you'd like me to talk about, 
There's links in the description down below. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.